bridge the gap between the spirit realm and the physical realm. One of the core mandates, the core assignment of the church or of this ministry is to link the spirit realm and the physical realm. Is to bring that link and then make believers become aware of that connection. So that believers can now come to the understanding that even though the physical realm might appear independent of the spiritual realm, yet the spiritual realm and the physical realm are well connected. They are interwoven together. So you cannot attempt to function in one without the other. You will not be able to attempt to function in the physical realm without also functioning in the spirit realm. You cannot successfully operate in the physical realm if you are not plugged into the spirit realm. Until there is that plug in into the spirit realm, your functioning in the physical environment will be deficient. And if care is not taken, you will even become a victim of the assault of the different entities that have solid grounding in the spirit. So you can become a victim of another man who understands the operations of the spirit realm, who understands that to manipulate outcomes in the physical realm, you have to be well grounded in the spirit. So the attempt of this ministry and even our teaching, what we teach, we are not called to teach everything. I want to make contact with us. One of the things that you become aware of is the consciousness of the realm of the spirit. Because you don't have to lose consciousness of it. Both in talking about God and his kingdom and also teaching about Satan and his kingdom. Yesterday we were dealing with one of the spirits in the air. And he was saying that even the teaching that we teach, they don't like it. Because we make people aware of their operations. They say they don't want people to know. They want the people to think that whatever is happening is just happening. It's just nature. So that you will not mount up strategies to counter their operations. And one of the reasons why they are fighting us, and even in this season, there's a lot of pressure from different angles. So that maybe either we, we fall or we deviate from the call of God or something else happens. It's because they don't want people to hear what we teach and they don't want us to deliver people to cast out demons they want their operations to continue so if you are here you need to fully understand you need to accept that the realm of the spirit and the physical realm are connected together if you attempt to operate in the physical to do things you want to get a job you want to marry you want to complete get a good class do whatever and then you leave the spirit realm unattended to you might have a problem you might not have a problem at one side but surely there will be an aspect that you have a problem or you go until you come to the end of yourself and that is when a lot of people now begin to tend to God, sometimes it is late God might be able to help you but he wouldn't be able to help you if you came to him earlier, if you had the understanding of the influences of the spirit realm on the outcomes of our lives on the earth and you began to take decisions and you began to get yourself grounded in the spirit earlier there were many things that would have been altered before you encountered them but because of that ignorance men walk in the flesh operate in the physical forgetting that there are entities that regulate the outcomes of people's lives you are here not because you want to be here you are here because first of all god chose to create a man and the way the world has become because another being came to deceive a man in the garden so everything happened is a product of what spirit sat somewhere the decision they took that you were not even aware they came to corrupt the creation one spirit created and made the garden perfect another spirit came to introduce corruption and all of us have come and there are more spirits attempting to lure the lives of people in a particular way that's when you attempt to deal with issues that you discover that many things are happening a lot of things are going on that men are not aware men don't even know that <laughs> so you enter a family and nobody marries how come that nobody has been able to marry who is controlling that outcome are the men foolish are the women not wise it's just to let you know that it's not men that determine what happens 
you will attempt everything, they will make sure that something will happen for something to happen. Meanwhile, everything happening to looks natural. But yet, at the end of the day, you check and the pattern is clear. An oppression engineered by entities that you don't even know them. Because when you came, they didn't introduce you. One gentleman came and they didn't introduce him. They didn't know that his father has got to leave them with a deity. And every year, the father goes there to offer sacrifice with goat and sheep and camels. All kinds of stuff. Every year. It was when we were praying for the sister that the demon now came. I was talking about the father bringing them. The family, the grandmother's side was different. Because we dealt with the grandmother's side also. The father has gone to leave them. And that spirit is active. In the spirit realm, they are inside the mouth of an anaconda. All of them are inside. They did that, that being who closed their mouth. You are gone. They were there in church talking in tongues. <laughs> and it's not touching the being. The being is still active. They are going to leave them somewhere. And they were not where why the woman could not marry. Developing fibroids and all kinds of stuff. Because the being comes to sleep with them. When they left them, the spirit married all the women. And crippled the finances of all the men. Because they came to leave them that protect them. And you come into the earth not aware of this kind of operation. You might become born again and say, I am born again. That settles it. You are a joker. You must understand how you are going to route your way out of that slavery. If not, you will be born again and talk in tongues. How many born again and tongue speaking people still have their lives come under the influences of all kinds of things? Even we, you know the things going on. The warfare. <laughs> the battles of the sons of Elohim. <laughs> and so this morning I want to talk about the contest of spiritual warfare. I want you to understand something. Listen, you need to understand something. I want to talk about warfare. The main idea of warfare is not maybe blows and swords and no, that is not the main idea. In the spirit, everything you see, if you see a sword, it doesn't mean a sword. It doesn't mean the way you use physical sword in terms of cutting onions and cutting leaves and cutting flesh necessarily. That is why the word of God in the spirit has a form of a sword. The word of God in the spirit has a form of a sword. And faith has a form of a shield. So you need to understand the context of the battle. That the battle is not necessarily dealing with. So it means that if you don't have faith, there is no shield. Or if your faith is weak, your shield is small. This is like a crest. The best you can do is to cover your heart. But all this cage is exposed. And you can be hit from every angle. And salvation is a helmet that covers your head. And righteousness is a breastplate. Listen, I'm trying to let you understand something. That the contest of the warfare, if you don't understand it, you will be overrun. Darkness will overrun you. It's not about giddy giddy and no, 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 no. Just this one that I've said should let you understand what the warfare is about. That if a man doesn't build enough faith, that man is not holding any shield. It means in the spirit realm, his warfare cannot become, he can be a victim because he doesn't have a shield. When they throw the sword, you can't block it. When they release a dart, when they release something, an arrow, if you watch this um, Spartacus and all those things, you understand the use of shirt. 